Um, actor Graham Beckel was on the Don Lemon program uh, on CNN with. Uh, Wait, who is it? Who is it? Graham Beckel. <laughs> I heard you. You don't know Graham Beckel. I heard you mentioned this, but I, I don't. I don't think I <laughs> you know, know Graham, Graham Beckel. Beckel. He Great played guy. Jack Fisk on Battlestar Galactica, the original one, I think. And uh, oh. was Hal Sanders on Heroes. Graham Beckel's a great man. <laughs> no, so, I, it's not Glenn Beck's alter ego? No, ego? no, 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 no. He is, uh, he is defending Clint Eastwood, who you know, um, uh, Andy, because of your position in Hollywood. Um, yes. The other day came out and basically complained that people were complaining about Donald Trump because back in his day, uh, they didn't call that kind of stuff racist. Uh, or <laughs> let me give you a couple of quotes from uh, uh, from uh, Eastwood. Now, Eastwood did concede that Trump has said a lot of dumb things, but so have all of them, both sides. But everybody, right. the press and everybody's going, oh, well, that's racist. They're making a big hoodoo out of it. Just right. effing get the, over the, it. The PC culture, you mean? Yeah. The PC? Just effing get over it, he said. It's a sad time in history. Now, I don't want to get into an argument with Clint Eastwood about history, but I suspect, like, World War II was also a sad time in history, or the killing fields in Vietnam, Just sad time it. in history, Stop or complaining. World War I, probably a pretty sad time in history. I mean, I could go on and on, uh, genocide in this country, but all the PC stuff now, that's making it very sad. He referred to it. Well, I'll read just one more quote, and then we're going to listen to Graham Beckel, and then I want to get your uh, your response, Andy. Uh, My take? Yeah. <laughs> uh, coming out? Are you saying coming out of the clip? Coming out or of before, the clip. I want to get your before take before the clip. Coming out of the clip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which tr- camera is mine? Which tr- camera is mine? Uh, Eastwood fumed. Quote: uh, Trump is quote onto something because secretly everybody's getting tired of political correctness kissing up this is that's the kiss ass generation we're in right now we're really in a pussy generation everybody's walking on eggshells so uh pussy yeah yeah pussy yeah yeah like don't pussy foot around yeah exactly okay sorry and he also said clinton's is a tough voice to listen to for four years (laughs) So, oh, that wo- oh! I can't stand women with their, oh! I uh, mean, when they're in the kitchen making the food, I don't mind the whining. <laughs> Let's listen to Graham Beckel on uh, the Don right. Lemon program to see um, what he has to say about this. And then when we come out of this clip, I want to get your hot take on this. You want my take on it, right? Yeah, your take. <laughs> Play. Clint's eighty-six years old, lives in Hollywood, and uh, kissing ass is. Uh, you know, it's uh, the currency of the realm. Everybody in Hollywood kisses <laughs> ass, except people with a tremendous amount of integrity. He being one, Warren Beatty, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Morgan Freeman, people from the left and the right. Some people have integrity. Uh, Clint Eastwood is one of them. And uh, I love the popping you guys are doing with this corn uh, over reading in some kind of racist <laughs> thing about it. I think that's... Uh, it's dim-witted and slanderous. Uh, how is how is yeah, how is not, it how like is overrating? Right. How is it being overrated um, and racist? Explain that. What didn't somebody just say? What Clint was saying was racist? Did I not hear that? But I want you to explain how it's being racist by by pointing that out. Um, okay. Well, to the extent that all that is political correctness. Clint Eastwood kind of transcends political correctness, um, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, I was working with him in, uh, in San Quentin prison. We were doing a movie. And um, <laughs> we had heavy guards around us, a lot of guards. And right before lunch, they all took off. And Clint led the crew and the cast through the yard. There were 800 prisoners in that yard. And they were black, they were white, they were Hispanic, Asian. Whatever God has ever made, the visage of man was in that yard. It was utterly (laughs) silent. That man walked into the middle of that crowd, and everybody suddenly burst into applause, and they were cheering him. Why? Because he's the masculine ideal. 
He's the guy <laughs> who tells it like it is. Okay, so Graham, but what does that have to do I with, I don't get the, what the, with racist the question? Thing is. Okay, well, maybe the post colonial victim shit. I don't get it. Sorry. Charles. Oh. No, you don't ask me to answer that. I don't even know what this man is talking about. I mean, there the, the, <laughs> you go. Hey, well, first of all, that's the first time Don Lemon's ever looked good. <laughs> the first exchange in his life where he didn't hate Don Lemon. I got to say, Don Lemon totally owned that segment. He, he stepped up to the plate. <laughs> it's the last thing he said was he didn't know what the guy was talking no, about. That was well, Charles, Charles Blow. Blow said, like, I'm not going to answer because I don't know what that guy's talking about. Oh, Charles Blow. I, I love Charles Blow. Uh, Don Lemon I don't know why goes. I have to say I love it. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love Charles Blow. <laughs> it's Lemon, I can't. Now, but 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 I well, ask me, you the reason why I want to get your take on this, Andy. I don't want to just leave it hanging out yeah. there. Uh, a lot of people have said that you are the ultimate uh, in masculine uh, visage, yes. and well, that, that um, like I know there hasn't been times where you've walked through a prison yard with eight hundred prisoners, but um, you've had your time uh, when you've done similar things. Like I, I'm quite convinced. Like you, I've seen you stroll through like. Um, the courtyard at the newsroom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Sam. Let me tell you something. I was doing a movie years ago with uh, Billy Jack. I don't know if that's his name. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not the actor's name, but I understand what you're saying. Oh, right. Tom so Coughlin. Tom Jack. Coughlin. Yeah. And uh, we walked into a, a cafeteria, and there were people there of every creed. Cre I don't care. Be there. I don't care. They were brown, gr green. The, uh, of ever, and, and I said, I'm going to take my foot and I'm going to put it on this side of your head. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a line from Billy Jack. No, look, that dog's not going to hunt, uh, Sam, you attacking. That, uh, you know, you, you're going to pop corn? You, is this what you're really going to do? You're going to play that clip and try and pop that corn? Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed, subscribe to our podcast, like us on Facebook, and just generally enjoy us.